Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? The year of live action continues with Monster Hunter apparently getting a live action movie. And this may come as good news to some, but probably bad news as you realize who's directing the film. And that is Paul W.S. Anderson, the one behind the live action Resident Evil movies. But it's not to say the Resident Evil movies are all bad. They're the kind of movies that get really bad reviews from critics, but generally people go out and watch them, and so they make quite a bit of money in the box office. In other words, they're guilty pleasures for a lot of us, but nobody is willing to admit it. So what we have here looks pretty much exactly like another Resident Evil-esque movie. As not only is the director the same, we also have Mila Jovovich starring in the upcoming Monster Hunter flick, who was also the main star in the previous Resident Evil movies. Now before all of you moan and groan, do realize that no matter how bad you think Resident Evil movies are, they are the highest grossing film series to be based on a video game, having grossed over $1.2 billion worldwide. So if you want a Monster Hunter movie to be successful, this Paul guy is probably your best bet. And not to mention, just like the last Resident Evil film, most of the box office, I think it was over 90% comes from overseas anyways, so they aren't exactly making this movie for the West, they're definitely making this for the Asian market. And it makes a lot of sense because Monster Hunter is just so much bigger in Asia compared to here, even with the surge of new players in Monster Hunter World, most of its sales still came from Japan. And Japan, from what it looks like so far, quite dig the Resident Evil movies in the past, so this Monster Hunter movie actually doesn't sound like a bad idea, at least on paper. Now Anderson actually wants to make this Monster Hunter live action into a movie franchise, just like what they did with the Resident Evil movies. Though the premise of the movie is going to surprise most Monster Hunter fans, as its story is completely different than what we experience in the game, and the premise goes something like this. An ordinary man in a dead-end job discovers that he is actually the descendant of an ancient hero. He must travel to a mystical world to train to become a monster hunter before mythical creatures from that world destroy ours. Sounds totally like an anime premise, but it continues. The central characters are relatable American characters. You take a person from the ordinary world who thinks they're in a dead-end job. They feel like they have no future. They feel like life's a failure. It's going nowhere like Keanu Reeves in The Matrix. So it's about a normal American who gets dragged into this parallel world, this monster hunter world. And then, eventually, the parallel world ends up coming to our world. So, you have creatures from the monster hunter world invading our world. Which is where the demo reel for the live-action monster hunter scene that was released about a year ago came from. It featured Goromagala fighting a Rathalos, an animated by the studio that does the Resident Evil movies, who is also the same studio doing this upcoming monster hunter movie. So in terms of how it looks, although the test footage obviously isn't going to be in the movie, if the movie ends up looking anywhere near as good as what they showed here, I think the movie will do fine. I mean, most of us don't go into a Transformers movie looking for plot, we just want to see some action. And action is definitely what we're going to be getting with this Monster Hunter movie. I mean, it's not like any of us play Monster Hunter for its story anyways. The only thing I can think of that they can screw up on is if they mess up with the animation patterns of the monsters that we've all grown used to. In the test footage, Rathalos is moving like a Tigrex, or his wings just don't bend the way it does in the footage. And that's something that a lot of fans already noticed in that short scene. Each monster in Monster Hunter has its own highly specific quirks and patterns, and if they decide to just animate them without learning about any of that, like the way they did with the test footage, then that would be very disappointing. And fans would definitely notice as we've spent hundreds or even thousands of hours fighting the same monsters over and over again. But then again, that is test footage and definitely not something to judge the final movie on, so we'll just have to wait and see. This Monster Hunter movie will start production in September this year with a $60 million budget, so it's definitely happening, but I am more curious as to what you guys think have to be done right for a Monster Hunter movie to be enjoyable. I told you mine, which was making the monster behavior look right, or at least accurate to what we're all used to from the games, but what do you want to see in a Monster Hunter movie? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to thumbs up before you leave, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications if you want to be updated with the latest that's going on in Japan, and I'll see you guys in the next one.